I'm John with Fluidine back here again. So what we'll do is we'll take a look at the spools inside the compensator. Uh, that way you can determine if you have a standard DFR DR or if you have a remote, especially if you don't have a tag on the unit, it's pretty hard to determine what you might have. So you can take out usually the top spool on the control where the load sense uh, adjustment is and that'll tell you what you have. So let's take a look at it. So here's the compensator broken apart with both spools out of it. Now your top part here, that's usually where your load send spool goes. But in a standard compensator, uh, DFR, DR, both the top and the bottom spools are gonna be the same just as this one is right here. So you would have this spool both on the bottom and on the top. But now with the remote, the top spool actually has the tip part of the spool cut back a little bit with a little orifice hole here to allow the pressure to bleed up through the spool and to your port here for whatever remote operation or connection you want to use. So that's an easy way to tell if you have either a standard DFR, DR type of control or if you do have a remote type of control if your unit doesn't have a tag or you're not sure. Again, all you really have to do is take apart this top spool, check the tip, and the orifice, if it runs all the way down, clean that out, make sure it's, it's cleared, but that's an easy way to tell what type of control you have.